Driving an Aston Martin in Iceland. Hello, my name is Adrian Sommeling. And I'm Nick. And today we're gonna do something with... A Aston Martin. Right. A few weeks ago I shot a photo of a beautiful Aston Martin in the Studio 34X. And, uh, but I didn't have a landscape yet. And last week we went to Iceland and it's incredible. Uh, you will see more pictures of it in the coming time and also a tutorial. Uh, but there I could shoot that landscape and we used that for this image. And uh, so I placed the car in it, I have a beautiful landscape and we're gonna sit in it. So, let's go to shoot. Let's go there. In the studio I put my son on a kind of wooden bench, so it's a little bit higher, just like how it would be when he was uh, standing in the car. And I used a big octabox and the light uh, against the wall for the fill light to light the scene. The image of Iceland and the image of the car I shot before. I, uh, I had the image of Iceland and I rotated it. Uh, no, not rotated it, I flipped it horizontally. Um, because I want the car to be like this actually, because otherwise you cannot read anymore the, uh, the letters, uh, the text on the number plate. Well, after that I light the scene a little bit, so uh, with some touch and burning. And I put the car in it. Well, it's a flying car at the moment because there's no shadows. So I've created some shadows below the car. And now it looks already like he's standing there and uh, he could drive there. But as you can see, I shot the car in the studio and the reflection in the car is of course different compared to the reflection outside. So I have to correct that. But first, before I correct that, before I put some uh, reflections in the car, I made sure the reflections were out of the car uh, coming from the studio. After that I put the reflections in the car, so now it really looks like he is there in the area. Then I put my son in the car and I put myself in the car. And as you can see we are not really uh, looking real there because the light in the studio is completely different compared to the light outside there. So I had to correct that. And with some color corrections, it looks like we are really sitting in the car there. Because there was no wind in the studio and I didn't use the machine for that, a wind machine, I did something I don't really want to do actually, but I did it this time and that was drawing some hair on the head of my son. Uh, like there's really wind going through his hair. And it looks much better like this there's some speed in it. Because you can also see our reflections if we are standing and sitting there, so I had to make those too. And if I don't make any reflections in the window, coming from the clouds, it still looks fake, it looks like there's no windshield. So I created some reflections in the windshield. And with the final touch, the image, the final image looks like this. I created some speed blur in the street and also in the tires. So it really looks like there's some speed in this scene. I also made uh, with levels, I bring up uh, the contrast and with UV saturation, I gave it a little bit more uh, color. And this is it. Well, this is it for today. We hope you like it. See you next week. See you next week. Bye bye. bye.